Okay, so what's up guys? I'm Pixel Sammy and in this particular video what we're going to talk about is how to use DaVinci Resolve as your sole mean to color grade when you're using Final Cut Pro as your main editing software. So what do I mean by this? I mean by this is that you do the entire workflow, the timeline, the transitions, the effects, the sound design, everything in Final Cut Pro and you do the color grading solely in DaVinci Resolve. Why do I say DaVinci Resolve? DaVinci Resolve is one of the most professional editing softwares when it comes to color grading. You can definitely get a Hollywood level kind of color grading in DaVinci Resolve. So DaVinci Resolve is one of the best editing softwares when it comes to color grading. Moreover, the base version of DaVinci Resolve is absolutely for free. So transferring the timeline from Final Cut Pro to DaVinci Resolve is a very simple process. So all you guys need to do is you need to follow the steps which I show in this particular video and then you can just make the entire video on Final Cut Pro and do the color grading at the end in in the DaVinci Resolve. And trust me, when you use DaVinci Resolve, don't worry, all your transitions which you apply on your Final Cut Pro, all your transitions, your sound effects, your titles, all the ones which you apply in Final Cut Pro will remain there even after you export it in DaVinci Resolve and then again import it back in Final Cut Pro. So you are doing two things basically. So you are doing is, you are converting the timeline of Final Cut Pro for DaVinci Resolve you're opening the timeline in DaVinci Resolve, you're colorating the same timeline and then you're exporting the same timeline from DaVinci Resolve and transferring it back to Final Cut Pro. If you want to edit it further or something, then you can do it in Final Cut Pro as well. And then after that, you're doing the final export, which is your main final rendered video. I know it is a bit lengthy process, but the result is extremely worth it because you guys will get a professional editing panel in DaVinci Resolve. I know there are professional editing panels in Final Cut Pro also, it is color finale. There is a built-in color grading panel in Final Cut Pro. But none of them compares to what DaVinci Resolve is capable of. So in this particular video, we are going to do exactly that. If you are watching this, then do make sure to subscribe to this channel. And with that being said, let's just start it. Okay, so here we are in Final Cut Pro. So this is one of the footages which I have just taken from the internet with some of my glitched transitions. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to just export this particular project as XML file. So click on file, click on export as XML and then choose your destination. And then just click on save. And then after that open DaVinci Resolve and make a new project. Name the new project as whatever you want it to and then click on create. And then after that go to file, go to import timeline and click on import AAF, ADL and XML. And then choose your destination where you have just saved that XML file. So this particular boss will appear, just keep everything as it is and then click on OK. And then you will see a timeline similar to that of Final Cut Pro. And then you will see a transition which is there between them but it is kind of a dissolved transition and not the exact transition which I applied in Final Cut Pro. But don't worry about this particular part. Just don't hamper anything with the transitions or titles or any other kind of external assets which you've just applied onto your footage. Just do your color correction in this particular software with your footages like you usually do in DaVinci and then export the same file. Just do not hamper the transitions and all and it will be pretty much the same thing when you just import it back in Final Cut Pro. And I'm going to do a little bit of color grading, nothing much too special or something, but I'm going to just do a little bit of color grading to it. And then after that, I'm going to just export this particular file as an XML file once again. So click on deliver. And then choose Final Cut Pro X in this particular panel. And then you are going to see all these options such as source name, the location, Choose the render type as the same one which you have just chosen in Final Cut Pro. Choose the settings as exactly the same. Now I want to just choose the destination for this particular file. So choose whatever destination which you want to and just save it. And then click on add to render queue. And then click on start render. This might take some time depending on your footage and your timeline. And then in your folder, in a saved file, you're going to see a XML file and there are two separate files with the color graded footages exported. Don't just touch them, just do not touch them, just follow these particular steps. So go to Final Cut Pro, go to File, click on Import and click on XML. 
and then choose that XML which you have just exported from DaVinci Resolve and then click on import and then you will see a new particular project already made automatically with a name in the bracket as Resolve which means that this is the particular project which you've just color graded from Resolve and then imported it back to Final Cut Pro. So as you can see, this is the particular footage which is color graded from DaVinci Resolve and then imported back in Final Cut Pro and the transition which I used in Final Cut Pro is still there intact. Which means that even if you use a transition or a title or something else, the effect will remain exactly the same until unless you hamper it back in DaVinci Resolve. So just for the example purpose, I'm going to just show a before and after. So the upper one is the old one without the color grading and the lower one is the color graded one. So if I just hide this layer, you can see the color graded one and unhide the layer, you can see the original one. So this is how you do the color grading in DaVinci Resolve, which is very professional in terms of color grading. I would say Hollywood level or something like that. So this is how you do it. So that is pretty much it. And this is Pixel 7 signing out. And if you guys like this kind of tutorial, then do make sure to subscribe to this channel. And I'll be back with another tutorial soon. Peace out.